So the first thing I've done here is to mask and tape up and sheet up anything that I don't want to have spray on it. So this is a kitchen dining room in this particular job and um, I've taped up all the units, uh, I've gone around all the windows, I've gone around all the sockets and the floor, basically like I say absolutely anything um, because it is sometimes surprising how much things overspray. This is a nappy bag that I've used on all the sockets, it's really cheap, it's disposable, um, just tie it in uh, at the back, clean out the socket from behind so that the spray doesn't kick anything up. Luckily the spotlights haven't been fitted yet but if they had I'd drop them down and again i will probably put the nappy bags over them and I've used plastic sheeting on the floor as well just as for some extra protection. Um, I've also taped up the room next door that's already been sprayed and I don't want to get any overspray into that and those nice French doors are all taped up. It's probably taken an hour or so to tape everything up but it is well worth it. So this is my sprayer it's the um, BAC 250 from Spray Store. It can spray uh, 2.9 litres per minute at maximum, but I don't tend to do that. Uh, I'm using a 15 metre hose. I've got a 517 tip on it. I've got a 10 inch extension on the Q Tech Professional Gun. Um, really is a great bit of kit. I'm actually spraying up at about 2200 psi. The paint I'm using is a super cover and it's thin slightly, uh, probably about a one part water, six part paint. And uh, there's my mixing gun, uh, mixing drill rather, that I use to mix it up. And here we are now spraying then. Um, I'm starting uh, with the ceilings. I put two coats on the ceilings and it dries really, really quick. So within sort of 10, 15 minutes you can apply the second coat. The walls will just have one coat like this and then it will have a normal um, colour, in this case from the magnolia, with a brush and a roller. Uh, when you're spraying you overlap by 50% of your previous um, uh, length that you've sprayed and normally I'll do a whole length of the ceiling but just, I'm doing small areas so the camera can see. Okay, so it took about uh, 10 minutes to completely spray the whole room, which using brush and roller would just be unthinkable. This has all had now one coat, so it will now be um, uh, left to dry, it will have a light rub down, any second filling will be done, and then the ceilings will have another coat um, in the same method. But I'll probably thicken the paint slightly and I'll increase the PSI to about uh, 2400, something like that. Now I'm using a fan in the room as you see in a bit, um, that's just because you've taped up all the doors, you've taped up all the windows and there's no air going around at all, so to um, help things dry a bit um, I apply a fan and it just sort of spreads the air around a bit and gets things drying a bit quicker. So that's all ready for the next stage, I'll increase the PSI, I'll increase the thickness of the paint and we're ready to go again. So yeah, with the PSI increase now to 2400, which means it will spray a little bit more paint a little bit faster, this is the sort of effect you get from it. This will be its final coat now, so really it's only had two coats, but the advantage with spraying is that it does apply it so much thicker, and there you can just work out where it was. And this is the final product. This is the um, ceilings with those two coats. The walls have been finished with a brush and roller in Magnolia. And we've done the same system throughout the whole property. It's a, a quite large four bedroomed house. And we also sprayed the doors um, apart from its final coat where we used a brush. And likewise with the skirting boards we sprayed them uh, apart from its final coat where we used a brush and eggshell to give a really nice finish. If you've got any questions about airless spray painting or would like me to give you a price, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.